of the year six. So today we're going to be looking at simplifying fractions. Now that term simplifying fractions means that we are making the fraction as small as possible or as simple as possible. So there's a simple way that we do this. I'm going to start here at the fraction two eighths. Now there's one rule that we need to remember when we're simplifying fractions. Whatever we do to the top, we also need to do to the bottom. So I want to try and make this fraction as small as I possibly can. Now I can't use anything except for division to make this smaller. So what I need to think about is how could I divide these two numbers by something to make them smaller? What I can do is I need to look and try and find what the highest common factor is of both these numbers. Now I can see here I've got 2 and I've got 8. I know that I can divide 2 by 2. I can also divide 8 by 2. Because whatever I do to the top, I also need to do to the bottom. Now here, that leaves my fraction being 1 quarter. Because 2 divided by 2 is 1. 8 divided by 2 is 4. That is how I can simplify that fraction there, by dividing it by 2. Now here, I've got 8 over 32. Now there's a different way that you can try and do this. A little bit of trial and error. The first way that I always try and do this is that I try and divide both numbers up the top by 2 by halving them. So I'm going to go here. Half of 8 is 4. And then half of 32 is 16. That works. Good. But I'm wondering if I can make this fraction even smaller. So I'm going to have a look through. I'm going to start to think, all right, I could maybe try and do 2 again. Or maybe I might try 3. Can 3 be divided by 4 to make it a whole number? Because that's another important rule when we're looking at simplifying fractions. Both of these numbers up on the top and the bottom for your numerator and denominator need to be a whole number. And we can't have any fractions or decimals on, on our fractions. So here, I've got 4 and I've got 16. So I'm going through, I'm going to try dividing it by 4. I know I can divide 4 by 4. That equals 1. 16 divided by 4 is 4. So that's also another quarter. Good. That's how I can simplify that fraction there. This fraction down here, 7 35ths. I'm going to try dividing it by 2 just in my head. I know because that is an odd number. I can't divide that number by 2. 3 doesn't work. 4 doesn't work. 5 doesn't work. 6 doesn't work. Maybe 7. 7 divided by 7 equals 1. 7 divided by 35. So now this is where knowing your factors is going to be really helpful. So if I count by 7s, I'm going to go 7, 14, 21, 28, 35. It goes into it five times. Good. And that's there. That is how I can simplify those fractions there. So what you're going to need to do today is that you are going to need to go and work through that sheet and try and simplify those fractions to make them as small as you possibly can. Knowing your multiplication facts and the factors of different numbers is going to really help your understanding today. Hope this helps.